Welcome back to Sonic Mania. We are in the final stage, Titanic Monarch Zone. So yeah, one last new stage before we're done here. <laughs> Look at that turtle with the fan on his back. He's like, it's like you can't get it. Help. You can't oh. get it. Then he just oh. gives up. Yeah. He's like, oh, whatever. Now he's a different turtle. He's a different <laughs> turtle now. Off he's a turtle lacking the fan. Okay, yeah, the, those are the exact Sky Chase turtles I'm talking about. They actually have sprites beyond the falling sprites that you can actually see in this game without hacking. Mm. Oh, my oh he's, he's, he's a windy boy. So, I'm gonna be honest, of all the uh, new stages in this game, I, I, I honestly believe that this one's probably the weakest. It's got a lot of neat ideas in it, like, really neat ideas, but I just like, uh, Studiopolis, Press Garden, and Mirage Saloon a lot more. Those eyes? Those are weird. They're like pupils. They're like pupils. They're and, like, irises. Balls. That's one of the, that's one of the neat ideas. Those, uh, spinny electrospheres were only used for a bonus stage in Sonic 3. They're yeah, plasma testicles. I have, we Look also have the city. bouncy walls from Metropolis Zone in Sonic 2. Sadly, There's this game does not have any slicers. And by sadly, I mean thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck Whoa. is that? Whoa. Like a D48. D so, did you see that uh, flying enemy? Yeah, he like locked onto you. Yeah, he locks onto you, and like if he encapsulates you in that thing completely, you will take damage. Ooh. Only thing that can stop you from taking damage is an invincibility box or supersonic. Those guys are like slinkies. Oh, it's the bear things from the one zone. Yeah. And unlike Scrap Brain Zone from Sonic 1, they do not look strangely 3D rendered. That is, that is another thing I brought up. You know, I forgot, like, I forgot to bring this up because I just tested another one of these recordings, but, um, just a little bit beforehand. But I want to make it clear, if my microphone sounds weird, it's because I'm using a temporary shittier headset. So, next part, I should sound back to normal, guys. Actually, like Jet Set Radio is the hard-boiled heavies theme. <laughs> Come on, honestly, it sounds like a Jet Set Radio song. It really sounds like a Jet Set Radio song. Even the composer for Jet Set Radio agrees that it sounds like a Jet Set Radio song. Which also, in my opinion, is a pretty underrated Sega game. Kinda like, like, I mean, like, again, this is not just, uh, like, this is not just, um, Sonic callbacks. There's lots of Sega callbacks as well, like, um, again, uh, High Spec Robo Go is a Jet Set Radio song, um, and also, um, yeah, it's a, like, it, yeah, it's a Jet Set Radio song, it's like a Jet Set Radio song, the special stage theme is a lot like a Nights into Dreams song, mm -hmm. and, um, uh, Press Garden Act 2, like, much like the rest of the stage, as well as its boss fight, is supposed to be a lot like Shinobi. I noticed too in Studio uh, Bless me. Not bless me. What the fuck is this? I don't even know. Bless me. Bless me. When you mess up the words, bless me. I'll save for you. No, uh, I noticed there was like a few Street to Rage things in Studio I don't know, I kind of caught that. I was like, hey, that's a thing from Street to Rage. Oh, Studio has like all the rare. I do not know how to get to that special stage ring, by the way. I like the best. Unlike Sonic 3, there's actually special stage rings in the final stage. That's different. Why do those egg just kill themselves? They're having a bad time. They've, they've okay. outlived their usefulness. Their only purpose was to give you a ride. Oh, oh Tails died. Oh. Rip. Press F. Imagine if after every Uber driver, they just shot themselves. Yeah, they died after every time. <laughs> it's like, all right, all right, all right. That'll be uh, that that'll be ten bucks. And they like give them the money. It's like, all right, thanks. Shoots himself in the head. Or what? you even pay them? Or you walk away from the car, the car just explodes. Just vaporizes. But yeah. you better not look at it. Or else cool guys don't look at explosions. That's true. Except for Dante from Devil May Cry. Because he looks at explosions all the time. I don't know about that. That's why the 4th of July is for dumb people. He's looking at explosions all the time. <laughs> and air pollution. Fucking dumb. And not yeah. to mention setting an entire forest on fire, having it oh cross over from one state to the next, and over just completely polluting the air in a state that it has generally pretty fresh air most of the time. 
Yeah, because we kind of live in a, like a valley thing. So, you know, usually the fresh air flows through pretty easily. But, uh, not this time. Uh, well, I mean, like, you really wish that Oregon's typical rainfall would start coming up at this point. Right? Yep. That, yeah. Because, like, that would honestly Canada. solve all our problems right now. I know we're supposed to have all. thunderstorms tonight too, but I haven't seen sure any like flashes of lightning, so I guess that's horrible. Yeah, I was gonna say we might just get some bad rain. Well, but, yeah. in my case, in my case, like I especially want it because I have to spend about 40 minutes walking during my work commutes. I think um, tomorrow the air should be a little bit. And I work four bit. days a week, Slowly so I mean that's not full time, but you know. The air's been slowly improving, and on your side of the river, it's better than Wait, your side of the river. Wait, why does that boss look familiar? Because it's the mini boss from Death Egg Zone in Sonic 3. Because he's right. not 9,000. And just like in Death Egg Zone, well, I love to cheese this boss fight with Super Sonic. Okay. In this game, I'm cheesing him with Super Sonic. If it were Sonic 3, I'd cheese him with Hyper Sonic. Also, because you're moving on an elevator so quickly, like, there's actual, like, gravity-related stuff, and I love it. Mm. Gravity's kind of cool. Yeah. Elevators are kind of cool, like right? It's a thing that exists. Down, Elevators down, are... down, down, gravity. That's a Schoolhouse Rock song. Down, 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 gravity on fire. No. Johnny <laughs> Cash is way better than Schoolhouse Rock. Okay. Are you Johnny insulting Cash? Schoolhouse Rock? How dare Are you me? insulting the manliest person who has ever lived? Johnny Cash. <laughs> I'm mad. Ooh, the music got all like foreboding. It also gets a lot more intense throughout like the whole stage. The song, I mean. Is that a stainless glass window for Big Man? Yes, oh, it is. Or Robotnik? That's yes, real it red. is. Gabe, Gabe, <laughs> Gabe, did you just correct yourself and say Robotnik when you already said Eggman? Yeah. Listen, Gabe, I'm just gonna get one thing out of the way. Eggman always has been his name in Japan, and secondly, it's the only thing he's referred to in as in this game. Oh. I like a, Evan's like stop the comment. Did you just say Robotnik? No, we do said not do localized names oh. here. At least I don't. We're gonna call him Robotnik from now on. <laughs> Actually, I already lied about the uh, localized names thing because I exclusively called Mega Man Mega Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. But also a special stage Rock ring Man. nearby here, but I completely missed it, so. Yeah, the stainless glass of Chaos Emeralds. It's stainless all stained glass. glass. Stainless glass. You're obviously not a fucking Catholic, you big loser. I mean, not a <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I don't know what the Corinthians are. Nope. Nobody does unless they're Catholic. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have to be Catholic to know what the Kardashians are. Yes. <laughs> yes. Evan, if you oh, want to keep up with them. You have to be Kardashian them. to know what the Corinthians are. <laughs> what? Oh, you have to be Corinthian to know what the Catholics are. <laughs> you have to be Kardashian to know. Do you have to know to be Kardashians, Corinthians? Do you have to? <laughs> Do you? Do Corinthians? Kardashians. Catholic. That's just out of here. <laughs> Come on. There's also uh, stained glass for the uh, Phantom Ruby as well. No, it's stained glass. Like There's also the, the stained glass. There are the, the hard-boiled heavies. You see, too. Carrie, Carrie, you can see it as that way, but... To be perfectly honest, I just ran out of things to add to that. <laughs> nice. Whoa, that's a lot of the spinning balls. Yeah, um, They're the edit to this one is uh, that you need to, like, uh, up, well. go through four areas to unlock the boss room, is how this act works. Okay. So in that regard, it's a lot like the final stage in Kirby's Dreamland. Yeah. Pub Rev Streamland. Uh, other games that I could allude to, but that was the first one that came to mind. There were also a lot of aspects from Death Egg in this stage, as you probably noticed. Like those platforms right there. 
Oh wow. That's and that what really I was does talking. fucking lock on. What? What? Wait, why is the music playing? What? What? Oh, what? like you're like losing your time. Yeah, what? Okay, you're not losing you any this? rings. That's really weird what's happening. So, what happened was, I got hit when trying to transform into Supersonic. So now, Supersonic is blue with the Super- Like, Sonic's blue with the Supersonic sprites. However, he also does not interact with any objects at all. Oh no! Is it a glitch? I would- Yes, it is a glitch. But the big thing about this is, I forgot to edit this out, because I actually have to start the level over. Oh no! No wonder it's 17 minutes. Wow, that's really interesting glitch. Whoa. So I'm I'm tempted to believe that I was just rushing through the editing process just because I wanted to make sure that I could perfectly time it with when we were starting up the recording session. Mm -hmm. This was pretty half-assed on my part, and I truly do apologize. It's okay, man. Just don't lose any of your unsafe progress. Oh, wait. Oh my god, Will, did you just... He really did. You're oh, you know loser. what to say about people like that? They're bad. You're a big loser, Evan. You know why you're a loser? Because you lost your unsaved data! Will is doing dirty deeds, done dirty cheat. You know what? Dirty Will's deeds only... and a done dirt cheat! Dirty what? deeds and a done dirt cheat! There's only one thing worse than losing unsafe data. You know what that is? What? Eating a fucking spaghetti sandwich, Gabe. Really? <laughs> oh, oh, you bring it Okay, this again? Are you serious, Will? I'm trying to have a really good time, alright? You can't <laughs> attack me like You're this. You're ruining Christmas food. Hey, Will? Is that like not even Christmas? Will, Will. The Zelda commentary oh, won't have been uploaded by the time this goes up. Foreshadowing. <laughs> this is like when Carrie called bloopers tentacles way before the tentacle episode of Pokemon went up. Foreshadowing. Why yeah. is a foreshadowing? Why not five shadowing? Because it's before, not be five. <laughs> That's why. Wait, 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 wait. If it was be five, doesn't that mean it would be after? No, that would be B6. B5 is right now. Oh, okay. B5 is right where now? I choose, and it appears as though I've hit your battleship. Who oh. was I talking to you about five being a gay number? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't any of you guys, was it? No. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, appears, disregard my comment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 108, that's my size. Oh, just kidding, it's 112 now. <laughs> you had enough rings to equal one carry. How do you feel about that? Is it, so is a carry, like, more than a carrot, then? Depends on the size of the carrot. Gabe, I'm glad you liked my joke, by the way. I thought it was funny, but like, I want you, I want you to elaborate on... I don't remember, I just remember five is a game. Oh. <laughs> what? Well, let's try and think, why would it be a game? It's like when Will messaged me on Discord saying that chicken is terrible. It is! It's a bad Oh my thing. god! No, are you serious? Yes! Chicken's the best! There's, there's two situations where chicken is good. Barbecue chicken pizza. Fried chicken. What about chicken quesadillas? Bad. It turns you into a robot. Oh, yeah. yeah. With <laughs> rocket powered fists! <laughs> what a callback. Yeah. Here's, uh, here's the thing, here's the thing. Beef is terrible for the environment. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But it tastes really good. <laughs> it tastes really fucking good. It's, it's great. But here's the thing, is pig's not that bad for the environment. But it's better than chicken. I think pork is just better than chicken. Okay, yeah, pork is better than chicken. I'm not gonna argue. Pork is pretty damn good. But it's but like chicken's not bad. Chicken it's is bad. great. Like I love that. Uh, I mean, I know it's like frozen. I don't like already, butter. but you know, it's like uh, 
it's like orange chicken and like some sweet and sour sauce. Like I like yeah. my mom buys that every once chicken in a while. It's like the fucking great. best shit ever. Chicken tenders are great too. Yeah, oh. that's fried chicken. Oh. Tendies, you loser. Also, also, occasionally we buy uh pre again pre cooked, but I don't care. It still tastes good. Uh, like a chicken penne pasta, my jig, and everyone in my house loves it. Yeah, what the fuck? We have we have rotisserie cooked chicken tonight. Fuck you. And I'm bringing this up because Will specifically said chicken on pasta is terrible. <gasps> what? You're so wrong. Nope, beef is objectively better than on pasta. On pasta? Shut up. You know. Like, beef is bad with Alfredo sauce. Okay, oh, definitely. Yes. I'm gonna agree with you there. I, I think we can agree, but yes. I, I beef with the like the like a pomodoro sauce, pretty good. Okay, well, pom well pomodoro is a different story. I right? lost that immediately. Um, <laughs> yeah. The pomodoro is a different story. It's like what? a specified How? sauce. What? Then like. What, do you not put sauce on your pasta? Or are you with some fucking vegan? Do you not put sauce on your pasta? Sauce on your pasta. Sauce on your pasta. Sauce on your pasta. Actually, um, my favorite way to eat spaghetti Spaghetti noodles is without the spaghetti sauce altogether. I just like putting like butter and Parmesan cheese on it. Butter, you know, butter's not bad. Butter's butter noodles are not bad. It's, it's really not bad. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Plain pasta. I'm not gonna lie. Most days I would take like steamed rice from the pasta though. Same. It's like denser, you know. I like I I just prefer it, I guess. See this? Okay. It's just the personal taste though. Okay, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a bit of an unpopular comment here, like, like, I'll eat it, like, I don't completely, absolutely hate it, but I am not the biggest fan of, um, steak. Oh, I absolutely no, I hate it. I have a friend who loves okay. meat, and he doesn't like steak because it's like, he compares it to crude oil. It's, huh. it's literally just meat. You That's see, it. Steak, it tastes good, but I don't like how tough it can get. Like, I'm not a fan of the texture. That's okay, you know, I can feel that. As long as we're doing unpopular opinions, this is something that's really been bothering my, me my whole life. You have a uh, whole wife? Yes. A half a wife? You know what I don't understand? What do you not understand? The obsession... See what happens with Knuckles been up to. So, in oh, other words, time to go. next time on Smash Team Knuckles. Games, instead of facing the final boss, we're going to be starting Knuckles' playthrough. Yeah. Hmm. Do we get to hear what was this one bothering Will his whole Yeah, life? yeah, we'll have him finish right. that first. <laughs> so, it, the, America's have an obsession with this shit. Now, I don't get it. Cinnabon! You yeah, mean Cinnabon? Cinnabon! No, Cinnabon not Cinnabon. Cinnabon, like okay. the company, like the restaurant that's like in the malls or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you posted a Snapchat about this. It's bad. Cinnabon's not tasty. No, it isn't. I. Thank you. Yeah, it. Uh, it's just like every Christmas, my family would go to the mall. You know, it's just a tradition. We wouldn't buy anything except for we'd get cinnamon rolls from Cinnabon, and every year, okay. I would like eat one. And that's it. It's well, just it's so yeah. it's so sugary. That's the thing. Is yeah, there, it's just it's just it's all it's it's like all sugar. Come on, that's like sugar. saying you don't like Twinkies. Twinkies are not as sugary. Also, oh. I'm not a huge fan of Twinkies. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm not so like all like I mean Cinnabon like their cinnamon rolls. Um, I feel like they taste like any other cinnamon roll to me. So, but I They're love too I love center of the rolls. I like center of, like, real cinnamon rolls. Yeah, well, like, I mean, like, their center of the roll, it's just like a, it's like a, I don't know how to describe it, um, like. It's a lot of cinnamon. But I mean, it's, it's just a lot like of, a whole yeah, bunch no, of, that's the, that's the appeal. No, no, Cinnabon's, uh, product, center of the roll, where it's like, a, a whole bunch of, um, like, pieces of the cinnamon roll, like, in a cup, and it's just like, uh, the, uh, it's kind of like saucy in a sense. I don't know, it's really oh. good, though. <sighs> Interesting. I don't know. 
that's just that's one of the things i have a lot of stuff that bothers me about food actually that americans are obsessed with in particular mostly because what st- what other people are in- obsessed with doesn't fucking affect me you know i so can understand I that because that's uh that's kind of like what sells me on games compared to most american people like i mean I feel like the big comparison with there is, like, uh, with America, it's all like, whoa, look at how cool this looks. And in Japan, like, it's all like, look at these colorful characters. And um, I'm significantly more drawn to colorful characters than how cool something looks. Look at this story. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I get where you're coming from with food. You don't like glazed donut bacon cheeseburgers. That's, yeah, you know, and uh, maple. That's maple, absolutely disgusting. Maple <laughs> Maple making bars. Maple making bars. Uh, I thought you were gonna say bacon bits for, for a second. I, you know, I bacon bits is like almost not even real bacon, and most of the time it's not actually real bacon. Uh, it's still, it's, it's. I like. No, it. no, 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 no. It's not made of bacon. It's made of bacon bits. Made of bacon bits. Made of bacon bits butter. That's correct. He's actually, he's actually totally right there. Um. Oh my god. So. And then next, guys, guys, guys. Fun fact. I am still recording. I know. Oh, oops. And I'll let you finish before I come. Next time on Smash Team Games, you'll hear me talk about Campbell's Soup on the Go. He'll probably totally forget. <laughs> Somebody remind yeah, me. Yeah, this is the last episode of the se- of the session that we're doing. Somebody remind me. I uh drink. Yeah, it's like the you put it in the microwave and it's like drinkable. Yeah. It's it's good, but it's really good. Guys, guys, we're doing this next time. Oh, sorry, fuck. But don't drop my hours. We'll talk about it next time. Okay. Yeah, settled.